Here's a guy taking a shit on the street. Really normal here, I think. So yeah, we are now driving in the Mustang of... Uh... La guardia, la policía, no puede entrar aquí. Si... Seno, de la mujer. A really good day from Santa Elena de Weyren. It's almost time to leave Venezuela after six really beautiful, crazy months on the bicycle in this country. I don't want to say goodbye to Venezuela, but we are on a mission. We have to get to Chile and we can't get to Chile if we are staying in Venezuela. So therefore we are going to cross the border with Brazil. It's only 20 kilometers to get to Brazil. I was for a couple of days in the Gran Sabana, a really beautiful place with beautiful landscapes. Uh, I made a stop to swim in a river there and I met a family and they live in Santa Elena de Weyren. They told me, if you are in Santa Elena de Weyren, you have to contact us because we have a place for you to stay. And that's where we are right now. This is where, where I parked the bicycle. Uh, later on, we are going to explore the city uh, by bicycle, really easy. Um, and this is the place where I'm staying. Um, and yeah, it's really comfy because I have this space all for myself, a bit exploded with all the stuff I need to wash. Uh, the bicycle bags here. Timo is here. This morning I went uh, to the veterinary with Timo uh, to get like the permission yeah, to cross the border with the dog. He has all his vaccinations right now. So Timo is also ready yeah, to get to Brazil. Um, and this is where I'm sleeping. One bed, another bed. So I can uh, choose in which bed I want to stay. They have air conditioning. Um, and also yeah, a shower, which is also really good. The past days I didn't have access to a shower, so therefore I'm really happy with, with the shower and this place in general. I can stay here for a couple of days, so I'm going to use it to rest before we are going to enter a new country. I've never been to Brazil, I don't speak Portuguese, so that's also a new challenge to learn Portuguese, uh, because yeah, we have to communicate with the local people and therefore we need to learn the local language as well. Uh, so yesterday I cycled 70 kilometers and the day before I climbed to the mountain of Roraima. So I did it on those really bad shoes. I bought those shoes in Maturin um, and it's like if I use those shoes for like one year the quality is really bad and my feet is like hurting really bad as well uh, so it's a bit difficult to walk so I need some rest days here uh, but look at this place a lot of space for Timo to, uh, to play um, and what we are going to do, we are going to the center of Santa Elena de Weyren. We are going to explore this border town because this is the last town in Venezuela yeah, before you uh, cross the border with Brazil. And we are also going to meet the family which I met in the Gran Sabana. The name of the guy is Eric. He has a shop in the city center of Santa Elena de Weyren. So let's go to the city center of Santa Elena de Weyren and let's see what this border town has to offer. So we are on the bicycle, we left Timo at the house so he can sleep a bit with the air conditioning because he needs, uh, he needs some rest. Um, but this is the first impression of Santa Elena de Weyren. It's a really quiet town with a lot of shops, a lot of movement on the streets. We are now going to the shop of Eric and he has a shop um, yeah, next to Plaza Bolivar. Uh, but let's cycle on this road as you can see Brazil is straight to that that side uh, but we are going to cross the border in a couple of days so we have some time to explore this town but let's get to the shop of Eric this is Plaza Bolivar and this is the place where Eric has his shop um, and what we are going to do is put the bicycle inside so the bicycle is safe Hola, buenas. Como estás? Bien. Eric está aquí? Hey, no. No. Salió. ¿Cómo estás? Todo bien, todo bien. Bueno, me alegro. ¿Cómo estás, Kenny? Todo bien. No resaca. No. Okay. So this is Kenny, and Kenny lives in the house where I'm staying as well. Tú vives allá también, Alcurima, sí. Sí. 
So yeah, this is the shop uh, of the family who invited me to stay in that place in Santa Elena de Weyren. As you can see, they are selling all kinds of, of things like, yeah, daily products to things you need in the kitchen. Uh, so if you need anything um, like plates or whatever you need, they sell it in this shop. But this is like the city center of Santa Elena de Weyren. So yeah, Plaza Bolivar, like in every town in Venezuela. So we bought some ice cream. Uh, Three real. I still don't exactly know what, uh, yeah, what the change from real to dollar is, but I think it's like 80 cents. Let's try, um, try the real Venezuelan taste. Mm. Of course, mango. Venezuela has a lot of mangoes. So yeah, let's get into the town of Santa Elena. Here's a guy taking a shit on the street. Really normal here, I think. Um, but yeah, as you can see a lot of people on the street and I think this is the corner where, uh, where the people uh, yeah, drink some beers and enjoy the Friday afternoon because today is Friday so that means a lot of people uh, are free to uh, drink uh, a lot of alcohol everything in Santa Elena de Weyren is also cheaper than other parts in Venezuela the reason for that is that it's really close to Brazil. People can cross the border to buy their groceries. And as you can see also some cars from Brazil, a lot of people go here as well uh, to cross the border for a day. Um, and yeah, you don't need to have like a visa as a Venezuelan to go to Brazil because of the situation. You can just cross the border, buy your groceries and come back. For instance, with gasolina, with like fuel, that yeah, people can't get it in um, in this place, so they go to Brazil and they buy it there. You can buy like one liter for one dollar and forty cents. So compared to other parts of Venezuela, that's quite expensive. But just better that you can get it for like a higher price than not get any gasolina. So Eric arrived. Eric is the guy I met in uh, yeah the next to the river in La Gran Sabana. He asked us, Eric, Eric, how are you? Very well. Very well. With his palacita. And now we are going to a indigenous community. And how is this community? It's called Manacri. Because it's Santa Elena? Or? Eh, it belongs to Santa Elena. It's one of the communities indigenous that is autochthonous. They have their cabal. Tienen su, su, su lugar donde, donde, donde permiten qué tipo de gente entrar y qué no. Pero el gobierno de Venezuela se permite eso, que ellos eh, tienen un alcabala propio. Sí, claro, porque los indígenas tienen mucha prioridad aquí en, en, en la sabana, uh -huh. porque son autóctonos de aquí, y entonces tienen prioridad muchas cosas eh, los indígenas aquí en en la Gran Sabana. Porque eso es su terreno. Su terreno. So yeah, we are now driving in the Mustang of, um, of Eric. First time for me driving in a Mustang. Really nice car. Y aquí puedes comprar oro, ¿no? Sí. La ¿Sí? grama vale 240 eh, reales. Trabajamos con lo que es el, el, el real porque la moneda venezolana no existe aquí en Santa Elena. Pero la gente aquí vive en casas normal. Sí, eh, de gobierno. Ah, eso es misión sí, vivienda. Es misión vivienda, pero de hace mucho tiempo. Ah, ok. Sí. Todo el mundo aquí trabaja en las minas. La gran mayoría es la gran minera. Mayoría. La gran mayoría trabaja en las minas, unos cuantos en el comercio, pero el, el flujo sí. grueso es de la minería. Pero eso es legal o ilegal. Ellos deciden quiénes trabajan y quiénes no en la sabana. No hay problemas que ellos tienen minas. No, no eso no. es aceptado. Sí, para los para los indígenas sí es ah, aceptable. Ok, ok. Una cancha de fútbol. We are going to stop here uh, at the iglesia. ¿Qué es este lugar? Eh, era un convento. This is the church. Uh, so I thought that indigenous people have like their own religion, uh, but they are ca Catholic. So they have 
like their own checkpoint. If you want to enter this village, uh, they have a checkpoint and they allow people to enter or they say, no, you can't enter. So really interesting how that works. Y ellos tienen su propio leyes también. Sí, sí. Sí? Sí. Eh, la, la guardia, la policía no puede entrar aquí sin pedir permiso allá. Ah. ¿Me entiendes? Sí. Ellos castigan a los, a los que se portan mal, los castigan son ellos, los capitanes. ¿Qué pasó aquí con Molandros? Eh, tienen su propia cárcel también ellos. Pero qué leyes hay que están un poco de los indígenas y hay interno de ellos. ¿Qué pasó cuando un malandro uh, roba algo en Santa Elena y no, pasa por aquí? Ese es su problema de Santa Elena, de, 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 de allá. Y esos son casas de indígenas también. Casas coloniales. So we just arrived at the checkpoint of Manacru. Eso es el nombre del pueblo. Es el nombre de la comunidad. De la comunidad. ¿Quieres el significado de Manacru? No, ¿Qué significa Manacru? Mira, ve, en, en dialecto de nuestros antepasados, Mana significa seno de la mujer. Y le pusieron eso por, por los cerros, los, te, los, los cerros que te llaman. La forma de... Ajá, la forma de los senos de una mujer. Ah, Se le decía okay. anteriormente Manastepú. Después fueron cambiando el nombre y le pusieron Manastepú. ¿Y qué es cr? Cr. ¿Quiere que se lo explique? Sí. Según mi abuela, anteriormente mis antepasados decían que cuando los indígenas hacían sus bailes tradicionales, uh -huh. su danza, uh -huh. eh, los jóvenes cuando bailaban con las mujeres venían y le apretaban los senos a las mujeres. Era su forma de enamorar a, una, ah. a, a las jóvenes. ¿Hay también esos bailes sí, en hay, ese momento? Hay, tenemos personas adultas que, y niños que están aprendiendo, que bailan pues, esa danza. Ah. En, in tiempos especiales, in commemorations. So if you are from the indigenous community and if you want to like, uh, yeah, get like a girlfriend, then you have to grab the woman uh, by the boobs to get like her love. Uh, really interesting. Y eso es la, el vestido tradicional. Tradicional. Es como representando a nuestra líder, nuestra capitana que es una dama, una mujer, para identificarla. Se hizo ese dibujo. Ella ya tiene seis años mandando como líder de nosotras. Nosotros le decimos capitana. Capitana. Y siempre mujer. Bueno, han sido mujeres. En varias ocasiones han sido mujeres. Pero esta, el hombre no es, es posible. Hay, han habido hombres también, anteriormente. ¿Y cuántos años tiene esta comunidad aquí? ¿Sabes? Tiene más, más de 100 años. ¿Qué, ¿Qué idioma hablas aquí? Paurepan. 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 Ah, con este gobierno salió una, una ley que, que es la ley de los indígenas. Hay una ministra indígena que trabaja con el presidente de la república. Ella es como representante de, la, de, de nosotros, la, las comunidades indígenas que están dentro del país de Venezuela. Huacupecru, Aujesas con Man, significa bienvenido. Eso es. Ajá. Este aquí. Huacupecru, Aujesas con Man. Eso es bienvenido. Bienvenido. Y bienvenido es en, en brasilero. En brasilero. Huacu. Huacu pe cru auyesa con man. Huacu pe cru auyesa con man. Auyesa con man. Es un bienvenido es muy larga. Ah, sí, sí. Bueno, ok. Eso es un monumento. <risa> Esa es una zona de turistas. turistas. ¿No funciona? ¿O funciona? Eh, no, no funciona tampoco. No funciona. Cedulación, están haciendo cedulas. Ah, policía. por eso hay mucha gente. Sí. Este es Acurima. Acurima. Sí, yeah, so this is the neighborhood in which we are staying. Y la cueva. Uh, y la cueva donde estoy quedando. <risa> And now we are going to the house of Frank, and Frank is the brother of, uh, of Eric. And we are going to eat something, and we uh, just bought some uh, ne uh, blanquitas, some, uh, some perlacitas. Um, and then we are going to drink something and eat something really local. So let's go to the house of Frank and let's see what we, uh, we are going to eat. Right, 
<laughs> See? Yeah, so I just uh, took this bucket because I have to wash a lot of clothes. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we are going to wash some clothes. The yeah, SOS is Akurima. See? Akurima. The SOS is so buena or? Buena. See? So yeah, the whole family always eats together, shares the food together. So that's really nice. And this is the house of Frank. Um, and we are uh, yeah, going to see what we are going to eat. They also have dogs here. Muchas gracias. Uh, some hammocks. The SOS Casa. Sí, como una habitación de sus de hijos. Hola. Mira. ¿Qué es? Ajá, es, es Eso es pincher. Pincher. <laughs> Mira, el perro. Muy pequeña. <laughs> ese pinche perro. ¿Cuántos años tiene él? Seis meses. Y no va a crecer más. No crece nomás. So the sweet arepas arrived. Uh, so this is like uh, cheese with... Is this Diablo? Yeah. Diablo. So this is like a sweet arepa with some meat and cheese. So let's try. Mm. Muy buena. Y con mayonesa. No keto. No keto. Si no comes eso. No? Esto nomás. Ah, solo cerveza. Sí, sí. 